my heartfelt condolences to all of you, particularly also his numerous followers, 250,000 readers, as you say, uh, Doc Morissa, is no mean feat. Where was I when I heard the news? You know, fancy that I was right here, this church. This is where I fellowship. And Pastor Tom had just preached a, a storm, preached up a storm. Um, it was um, that sort of Sunday where you go, you hear a message and you leave and you're kind of bewildered. And I left here and I went down Churchill, Churchill Road and uh, at the corner of 2nd Street extension there was a huge truck pass there park there that broken down and my wife in her wisdom urged me to reverse the car and go the other way which I did I did that and tried to just turn ahead of the truck and lo and behold we had a car crash someone smashed into us and we missed death by a whisker. And I mean, I was just, I was in total shock. I'm still, I'm still quite shaken. I held my phone, deciding who to call. And then uh, Zizi, um, Zreva, Zreva, you might actually be in here. Zizi? No, he's not. And he sent me a message right there and there that Alex had passed away. You can well imagine what impact that had on me. I had just missed death by a whisker. And so I was quite devastated upon hearing the news and uh, deeply saddened that that could have been me on the same day, almost at the same time. But here was what crossed my mind. I couldn't help but think that my affairs were not in order. I had to come to that conclusion. I was not ready. And Bishop Magaya has just delivered a message encouraging us to be ready. We just don't know when anything can happen. My pastor just urged us, and I'm an elder in this, this very ministry, but I concluded there and there that I wasn't ready. And so it was so heartbreaking hearing that a good man who was a yardstick of humbleness had just passed on. What a loss to the country. I can only assume that the organizers of this memorial lecture would have been tracking the threads of our conversations on social media platforms, either on Twitter or on the private WhatsApp message, message uh, groups that I am in. I was just counting today that I was actually in nine groups where Alex participated in. He was a thought leader. And I can only imagine that it is the tussling that I had with Alex just as an economist and as a businessman that led them to think that I was actually a close friend. The reality is I actually never met the guy. And yet, he was like a brother. And I viewed him as such. I remember thinking in those groups and reading the BSR as I did so religiously, thinking, where does this chap get the time to write so prolifically? He never seemed to tire in terms of arguing a point. He was so deep, so well-meaning, so passionate, if not patriotic. He loved this country so deeply. My view was he was wise beyond his age. He was very discerning. I actually first came across him indirectly when as a young global leader of the World Economic Forum, Soon after the GNU, 
and sought, I asked Professor Schwab of the World Economic Forum that I had never, as a young leader, seen our two leaders together in public. And so I wanted to pull off what looked like an impossible feat. I wanted to get the late Robert Gabriel Mugabe and the late Prime Minister Morgan Shangirai together in one room in a public forum.